Now back in our area, teachers are officially on strike in the Methacton School District. Weekend contract negotiations between the teachers union and the school board broke down when both sides reached an impasse over health care premiums. Our Joe Holt joins us now in Eagleville, Montgomery County tonight with the latest. Joe, good evening. Yuki, good evening to you and the teachers have taken a break from the picket line. I am told they will be back. Now, in the last hour or so, I have talked to leadership on both sides of this impasse. Both have indicated that there really is no meeting set for negotiations. And right now, for Tuesday, classes once again canceled in the Methacton School District. Outside Methacton High School, looks are deceiving. The buses are still rolling. There's the info on back to school night and the school zone sign is still blinking. But now the only possible reason for 15 miles an hour, the several dozen educators meandering about the roadway. We're ready to bargain at any time. We want a fair settlement. Well, on camera, the Education Association and the school district sound close to a deal. We can try to move things in the right direction and, and we believe we are, but you know, it, it's a tough road. But on paper, it's a deeper divide. Take the average proposed salary increases of 17% over three years. Now, matching that with the proposed increase to health premiums, teachers say any bottom line boost is wiped out. The amount of take home pay that you're going to get in your raise is not going to balance with the amount of increased cost in health care. Methacton school leaders say taxpayers won't be saddled with a cost skyrocket. Methacton residential tax base will not support the kind of compensation and benefit increases seen in other school districts. A handful of students surveyed the lockstep back and forth. They could be off for two more weeks. That's if the sides can't nail down a resolution. Just to hope for school tomorrow, not uh, have any more days off to cut into our breaks. The only thing I really could worry about would be summer break, but honestly, like if it means our teacher gets paid more, then I think it's worth it. And once again, school canceled here in the Methacton School District for Tuesday. Again, we have to hammer it home. If both sides don't together, don't get together for a meeting, that means that bargaining cannot take place. So reading through the tea leaves until they have a meeting, it's likely there will not be school here. Yuki. Hey, Joe, I'm thinking about Michael Austin and their friends. Is there any word yet on how the students will make up any lost time? Well, you know, it's interesting, Yuki, talking to the students out here, they want to be back in school. This is not an unplanned or a, a, a vacation in any degree. They are looking forward to getting back in the classroom. So you take a look at it right now. They could be on strike for two weeks if the two sides can't meet, and then the teachers must return to class. So if that does happen, if it was to go the distance, then the district would have to look into collapsing a holiday break and possibly going past the last day in June. Of course, coming up at six, more on that and more on the emotion out here in Eagleville. I'll see you then. All right, Joe, we'll see you then. Okay, buddy, thank you.